Yo, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be reviewing the best budget mouse hands down by far hands down and that's the Dragonfly F1. I have it right here. I have heard so much about this mouse and I've been requested in the comments to go ahead and review it. So I am going to and let me tell you just right off the bat for the price. It's just extremely, extremely impressive to me. It feels like a $40 super light. I'm going to be going over the cons I feel about it. Um, but for the most part, definitely by far the best uh, budget mouse you can get for 40 bucks right now. So this mouse is 49 grams. Extremely, extremely light. It's a Chinese mouse uh, made by VGN. It is an extremely light mouse for the price. I don't think there's many others that are this price. It basically just feels like a way lighter super light. That's why I have the super light here. It just feels like a plastic version. It literally feels extremely light. It feels basically like a final mouse, but plastic. Super, super, extremely light. And let me tell you right now, my favorite thing about it is the scroll wheel the scroll wheel literally feels better than the super light in my opinion like it's a that's the like one of the best qualities about it is the scroll wheel is high quality um everything else is pretty not not up to par with it obviously because i mean it has to have some downsides it's extremely light i mean how else would it be this light at this price point it's also just a tiny bit for size comparison so you can see it's just a tiny bit smaller than the super light and the hump is smaller um i really do like the shape of it i was actually just using it for a, for a good little week um just because i wanted to try it out and it, it's still really comfortable to use and first of all the, the skates amazing it's just a basic skates same as the um the um mp01 same exact basic skates um they feel amazing they glide across the mouse pad uh really well the sensor is great on it that's probably the best quality actually now that i think about it definitely the best quality sensor i haven't had no problems with it i was I was anticipating a bad sensor, but I mean, the sensor is just, I haven't had any issues with that. I'm not entirely sure the exact sensor in it, but I mean, it's great technology. Let's go over a couple cons of the mouse real quick, in my opinion. Um, that's definitely the clicks. The clicks feel absolutely awful. Like, it, you, if you went and to the school computers, uh, your school, your local school, your local library, they have better clicks than this. They, they just, they sound very, they're so loud and they just, they feel cheap. They're very clicky. Um, in my opinion, that's definitely the worst part about it. Also, the battery life, it's only 40 hours of battery. But I mean, what do you expect? It's a, it's a $40 mouse. I mean, uh, yeah. you know, for the price, I, I can't complain about the battery life at all. Um... But yeah, 40 hours of battery, so you're going to have to be charging it pretty often, or you can play with the wire, whatever. But yeah. Um, also, the side buttons, in my opinion, it's a it's, it's a cool-looking design, but it's terrible to actually play with. Like, it just, it bothers me. They're so sharp. It's, it's extremely, extremely sharp, and they pop out, and they're just not comfortable. Not comfortable at all, really. Um... But th those are my main cons that I've had with it, and it's just kind of preference stuff, really. Yeah, but the these side buttons are not comfortable at all. They're so sharp. I don't know why. It looks cool, but they're definitely not uh, optimal for gaming. But my main takeaway is, honestly, f obviously, for the price, the best mouse you can get. Hands down. Not even, not even close. It, it's, it's actually insane how it's only, I think, $45 right now. It's actually insane. And in my opinion, this might sound crazy. In my opinion, I am using the F1 Firefly, Dragonfly, sorry, over the Superlight. I, I'm using it. I, I like the shape better. The shape is way more comfortable. It's smaller and the skates feel better to me. That That's just, that's just how I feel. I don't like the um, super light that much this egg shell uh, this sorry egg shape like i don't like it i prefer this shape way more so if you want to try something different and you're looking for a new mouse to use honestly this is a great mouse if you're um if you can't really get the most expensive nice i mean in my opinion i would even prefer this over many of the expensive mice like i said it to me it's it's as it's basically as light as a final mouse it's just 
not as good quality in some aspects but again for the price you really just can't beat it definitely my favorite mouse um by far uh under 80 bucks or whatever i would say i i even prefer it over the glorious mouses but that's just me i don't know um but yeah that's pretty much all i have for the uh the dragonfly itself uh one of my favorite budget mouse mice i want to be doing a lot more of these uh budget mices because i think that it's important to show most content creators only do like the expensive most expensive best mice i want to do all of them um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, peace out. Peace out. Later, later.